Hey everybody, it's Christopher Small, the owner of CMS Law Firm. We do estate planning, we do probate, we do it well. Today, I wanna to talk to you about whether or not you should get a testamentary trust. Before I do that though, I wanna remind you, if you um, have questions about this or anything else related to estate planning or probate, and you wanna talk with us over the phone for free, you can do so by going to cmslawfirm.com. Okay, uh, testamentary trust. I've talked trusts. I've talked about these a couple times in the past. It's been a while. I thought I'd make another video. I had a call with a potential client today who um, was asking me about testamentary trust, who had received a fee agreement from an attorney to do a testamentary trust. And I wanted to reach out and remind you that you should not be doing a testamentary trust under any circumstances. None, zero. There's no reason to ever do a testamentary trust. Now, what is a testamentary trust? Um, a testamentary trust is a trust that is inside of your will, which essentially creates a trust when you die. Okay, that's what a testamentary means like in the will. Um, there are a couple of reasons why these things are terrible. So, and, and they have to do with the benefits of, what a, of a trust normally. So there are a few benefits of a trust. Um, and these are the reasons why most people do trusts. Reason number one, this is in no particular order, is privacy. If you create a trust, um, it's not recorded anywhere. It's not a public document anywhere. Nobody can see how you do your distributions. So that's that's nice. Number two, you can avoid probate. When you put your assets into your trust while you are alive, when you die, there's no need to go through probate because there's no need to transfer your assets. Probate is essentially the process of transferring your assets to someone else. If you have a trust, your trust owns and holds the assets when you are alive. It also owns and holds the assets when you die. So there's no need for probate. And then the um, third, fourth uh, good thing about trusts is that you can have control in sort of uh, um, um, over the long-term distributions of your assets over time. So a will just gives you outright distributions. You know, um, uh, Joe gets 50K. With a trust, you can say, Joe gets 50K distributed at $1,000 a month for 50 straight months whatever you want to say, but a trust allows you to do that. Now, when you create a testamentary trust, when you create a trust inside of your will, you lose privacy because the will is going to be a public document. It's going to be recorded with the county. It's going to be searchable. People are going to be able to see it. And you also still have to go through probate because the trust technically doesn't exist until you die. So the next step after you die is to take all of your assets and then transfer them into your newly created trust. I think that attorneys do testamentary trusts because they want to get paid by you for probate um, when, when you die. So they're trying to get sort of two bites at the apple and, and, and um, unfortunately you are the apple. I told this person today that I was talking to that I don't ever do testamentary trusts, never. Like there's never a good reason to do one. You can Google it, and you're not gonna find any good reasons, okay? What you should be doing is a separate standalone revocable living trust with a will if you're going to be doing a trust. You don't always need a trust, but if you are, you might as well create a standalone revocable living trust. There's no maintenance, there's no extra taxes, there's no, there's no nothing. While you're alive, it's just like um, when you started, okay? Everything just flows through to you. But when you die, then you don't have to go through probate, you get privacy, you can have these extended distribution schedules and things like that, okay? So, um, if you are, if you are um, curious, about my stance, no testamentary trusts, all right? Part of the reason I'm making this is to remind, you know, you regular listeners out there, but part of the reasons, reason for this is just literally for Google. I hope someone searches, should I use or should I do a testamentary trust? And you can hear me saying no, 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 no. All right, all right, that's it. Um, as always, um, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it made sense, you learned something. If you did, hit the like button. If you're someplace you can subscribe and you don't wanna miss any uh, additional or any future episodes, then um, hit that subscribe button. And if you have questions about this or anything else related to estate planning or probate, and you want to talk with us over the phone for free, you can do so by going to cmslawfirm.com. Okay, that is it. Um, as always, I am Christopher Small. I am the owner of CMS Law Firm. We do estate planning. We do probate. We do it well. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your attention. I appreciate you, and I will talk to you again soon. See ya.